Andy Lewis from HealthyCanine.com and today you're going to discover the top 10 dirty secrets the dog food industry doesn't want you to know. Yep, 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 yep. Dirty secret number 10. The colors in your dog's food are fake. They color the food for your benefit only. Your dog doesn't care if it's red, blue or pink. But the problem is these colors have been linked with cancers, allergies, kidney damage and behavior problems. Some of them have already been banned from human foods but they're still in the food you're feeding your dog. Dirty secret number nine, lying about ingredients. Why? Because if you see it on the ingredient list, you won't buy it. For example, a Scandinavian study of popular UK pet foods found chicken and pig DNA in 14 out of 17 brands. Now, that may not sound like much of a concern, but it's surprising when you discover that none of these 14 listed either chicken nor pig in the ingredients. How? Well, they use misleading terms and they create new names for ingredients by mixing them together and renaming them. But what if your dog is allergic to an unlisted or deliberately misleading ingredient? Chicken allergy is a real condition. Dirty secret number eight, the protein is fake. The most expensive ingredient in your dog's food is protein, and so manufacturers are going to try and cut costs by using the cheapest protein they can. Unfortunately for your dog, the cheapest protein is plant protein. It looks like meat, but it's actually corn disguised as meat. Diets of inadequate protein damages your dog's adrenal glands, which weakens the immunity and shortens your dog's lifespan. Dirty secret number seven, manufacturers use the cheapest lowest quality ingredients to make the fake protein. Fake protein made from the cheapest old and damaged corn unfit for humans. It's moldy and mold contains mycotoxin and mycotoxin damages liver and kidneys. Dirty secret number six, rendering destroys the nutrients. What you can see here is a dog food rendering apparatus. Dog food rendered at very high temperatures destroys the omega-3 fatty acids, enzymes, proteins, and vitamins and so the final sterile product is actually very low in nutrients dirty secret number five your dog's food contains antifreeze how crazy the antifreeze chemical I'm talking about is propylene glycol why because propylene glycol retains moisture it's already been banned from cat food dirty secret number four dog foods labeled as preservative free is a lie Author and world-renowned vet Dr. Henry Pasternak reports a study of several brands labeled as preservative-free found synthetic preservatives in 100% of samples tested. How do they get away with adding preservatives to a preservative-free product? Well, they use legal loopholes to have the chemicals added before they receive the raw product at the factory. Because if they didn't add them, they don't have to declare them. Dirty secret number three, your dog's food contains pesticides. I'm speaking specifically about ethoxiquin. It's not a residue from use on plants that were then used in the manufacturing process. No, ethoxiquin is actually added as an ingredient because it also acts as a powerful preservative. It's been banned from human foods because it causes cancer. Dirty secret number two, your dog's food may contain dead pets. Meat meal and meat byproducts contain all types of nasty things including euthanized pets, euthanized zoo animals, roadkill, and the four Ds which are dead, diseased, dying, and disabled animals unfit for human consumption. The entire gunky mess is processed into a brown powder and that brown powder is 25% animal crap. Ah! Oh. Dirty secret number one, your dog's food may contain sodium pentobarbital. If you're unfamiliar with that chemical, look at the image and you can see it's a euthanasia solution. It's the chemical used to euthanize pets and zoo animals. Many dog food companies claim they don't use euthanized animals anymore. Not because they care about you and your dog, but instead because they got caught. Sodium pentobarbital is not broken down in the rendering process. After rendering, it still exists in active form in the final product your dog is eating. Does the dog food industry have a history of being honest or caring about your dog? The reason I feel we should ask ourselves these questions because the only evidence we have that some manufacturers are no longer using euthanized animals is their word. But the answer to these questions is absolutely not. In fact, the opposite is true. These are the reasons why I'm still suspicious. 
protein from euthanized animals is super cheap and it's abundant. Cost cutting is standard practice in this industry. It's still legal to use euthanized animals and historically, it's common practice. When profit and satisfying your shareholders is your bottom line, these are very difficult habits to break. So do you think they could possibly still be using it? Well, an FDA investigation still found sodium pentobarbital in two thirds of randomly selected dog foods. That's the evidence right there. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you've learned some valuable information about the food you may be feeding your dog. Thanks very much.